Are you tired of feeling tired? Are you frustrated with not getting out of bed in the morning? And then not being productive during the entire day? And then crashing hard after lunch when the caffeine starts to slowly wear off? Here we go again. A significant percentage of people worldwide report experiencing persistent tiredness. And the modern day environment just seems to make it even worse. So you're not alone. And actually, I've been there too. For a long time, I didn't feel as energetic as I wanted to be. But slowly it fucking annoyed me. And two years ago, I decided to learn and do something about it. By now, I read plenty of studies and books about energy, listened to experts in the field and tried countless things myself. The raw egg shake. And the great thing is, my energy improved. So in this video, I will tell you specifically how poor diet, instant gratification and a lost sense of purpose kill your energy. Also what habits you could be overlooking that keep you tired and lazy and what quick actionable steps you can take right now to immediately combat your fatigue. So what if I told you it's not just about getting more sleep, it's about more than that and a lot of it actually is mental, not physical. Are you ready to finally feel more energetic and feel happier as a result too? Then let's not waste any time and get into it. Oh, and I also have a very important bonus tip at the end too. So what are the common reasons for feeling tired all the time that I'll be addressing in this video? The expected video would probably be sleep more, drink less caffeine, do some exercise, blah, blah, blah. That advice is good, but we all know that and you heard it before too. Today, I want to focus on three different key aspects. There surely is more to consider, but those three key areas are where many people do huge mistakes, including myself back then. Now, when I felt so tired pretty much all the time, I was living a pretty normal life, I think. I would go to uni, do some work, do some exercise, maybe play some video games, walk around a bit, make myself some chicken and rice and probably call it a day. But I also did some big mistakes at that time. And three that really all fit under the same umbrella. On a normal day I would make all those three mistakes and chances are you too. I'd wake up, do my stuff. And yes, hitting the snooze button is a big mistake, but we can talk about that in another video. And then I'd eat some breakfast. Potentially my first mistake. What? The first key aspect that makes so many people tired is diet. And it consists of three mistakes I want to cover. And that first mistake is a heavy carb loaded breakfast. Now before you leave because you don't believe me, just let me explain. Actually maybe that's two mistakes, but let's go through this step by step. During that time I did mental work, cognitive work. I was also not underweight and I could eat all the time because I was working from home just on my PC. So the harsh truth is I didn't need a breakfast right away. You see, there are plenty of benefits to intermittent fasting. And the big one is more mental clarity and more mental energy. Of course, you don't want to overdo it, but if you move your breakfast to a bit later in the day, you can abuse that increased focus and mental clarity and get work done a lot more efficiently. All our life we were told that breakfast is so important, it's the most important meal of the day, but actually that might not even be true. Now by definition breaking our fast will be the most important meal, but you know what I mean. You don't need to have it so early. Because the truth is, for many people it just immediately satisfies them. I will talk about instant gratification later too. It gives them a bit of brain fog and it takes away some energy because they need to digest. What a good deal. Overrated as fuck in my opinion, I mean... Now yes, 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 I know you didn't eat during the whole night. But another truth is, and we seem to forget that, is that we can survive that pretty easily, right? And we don't need to eat after a couple hours during night of not eating. And actually, it might even be smarter too. So eating too early for no particular reason is the first mistake. But it gets even worse when you make the other mistake too. Because eating a salad or some eggs will likely not be as bad for your mental clarity as eating cereals or a huge carb-loaded meal. 
a high carb diet can be the reason why you lack energy. You just get a higher chance of brain fog, takes more energy to digest. And of course, if you have sugar, which is a carbohydrate, it gets way, way worse. The fact is we can survive on zero grams of carbohydrates. Yet what we eat is mainly those carbohydrates. What the hell? And also we start eating them first thing in the morning pretty much. Now don't get me wrong, you definitely can be energetic as well as focused on a diet with carbs. But one of the biggest proven benefits of a low carb or ketogenic diet is that you will have improved mental clarity and energy. And I also tried it myself and it worked for me too. Carbs in your diet can just make you addicted because of the insulin spikes and crashes that make you hungry after not having carbs for a couple of hours. Although you're not actually hungry, you just want more carbs. And that of course leads to a distracted mind, sugar addiction and less energy. And then diet mistake number three, before we move on to the second big area, is that you likely eat too much, especially early in the day. By now, I addressed this in a couple of my videos recently. But what I like to do and what works really very well is to just keep myself a bit hungry throughout most of the day. I usually just eat until I'm 50 to 70% full or less. That leads to improved mental clarity. And if you don't overdo it, more energy and more focus too. Because also the reason that your energy crashes in the afternoon is very likely because you eat too much for lunch, especially carbs. Hello there. I don't want to make this too much against carbs, but it's true. You won't crash by eating too much fat and protein. And the other reason why you crash in the afternoon is something I'll address in the next segment of this video. But if you want more specific advice on what to eat, you can watch my energy maxing diet video on my channel or book a one on one call through the link in the description. Right now, I don't want to waste your time. So let's move on. Now let's talk about the next big thing where you could probably improve a couple of things to have more energy. It is something that's not easy, I know, but the more you do it, the better it can be. The more energy you will have alongside motivation, happiness, focus and even more too. So it is really, really important. What many people do is a lot of snacking, scrolling TikTok, playing video games, watching YouTube all day, take drugs and much more. All those things we know are bad for us, but that feel good in the moment. They feel good immediately. And that not only kills your dopamine and slowly worsens your mental health, but it also decreases your energy. Instant gratification is killing your gains. So instead of doom scrolling all the time, eating the next little treat anytime you crave some sugar and going partying and drinking every weekend, go for more delayed gratification. Work on your dreams instead of scrolling other people's dreams and do hard work that doesn't feel nice right now, but you know will pay off in the long run. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. That's much healthier for you and why more and more people go on a dopamine detox, they quit sugar, they quit social media, or they quit caffeine as well. Because that's part of this too. Your coffee, your Red Bull, your caffeine is instant gratification too. It is proven that it releases dopamine. So maybe, especially if you are not feeling motivated or you are not feeling energetic, reducing your caffeine intake, and of course also because it's caffeine that wakes you up, not only because of the dopamine, might really help you. At least vary it, like don't drink the same amount at the same times all the time, because then you build a little dependency, but also wait at least 90 minutes after waking up before you ever drink caffeine. That's by the way the second big reason why you crash in the afternoon. You have caffeine too early. So if you want to prevent an afternoon crash, it is very, very important that you don't drink caffeine too early in the day. Wait 90 to 120 minutes at least. But now I think it's finally time to address something that almost everybody is ignoring when it comes to being more energetic. We all focus on sleep, exercise, going outside, diet, all those things, but we seem to ignore this simple but very important thing too. Honestly, I think it's definitely one of the most important factors to being more energetic. 
So let me tell you more about it. Because maybe you already do all the things in this video so far, or you watched advice on being more energetic before, and you already change your lifestyle and do so many things that are supposed to make you energetic, like sleeping early, exercising regularly, going into nature, hydrating, all those things. But somehow it's just not really enough. It doesn't really work. You still don't get out of bed in the morning and you still aren't consistently energetic. That's actually not uncommon. I've been there too. You do all the good physical habits, but your energy doesn't really change. Because that is the mental game and energy is huge. And you should not ignore this. Again, it has different aspects. First and foremost, if your mental health is bad, you won't have energy. I would love to tell you otherwise, but I'm sorry, that's just how it is. And I won't tell you how to fix that in this video, but if you feel sad, depressed, anxious, whatever, a lot, it is very normal that you are not feeling energetic. So of course, what you have to do is to fix that as soon as possible. And then we also got to talk about something else, because motivation is energy. At least sort of. If you feel motivated as fuck, you will be energetic. On the flip side, if you feel like nothing matters, your life is meaningless, you have no motivation for anything, of course you won't have energy. You need motivation. Because motivation will make you go after things. And motivation will make you bring up energy. Okay, let's go. And the best and probably simplest way for more motivation is by having goals and a purpose. I think goals are decent, but purpose is king. If you look at all the energetic people who seemingly work all the time, who are on top of their game, they all have a purpose. They all have a purpose that drives them forward. Because a purpose is super powerful for that. If you have no plan in life, if you don't really know what to do, you need a purpose as soon as possible. It's pretty much like a cheat code for more energy. But of course, that will take some time. It's not easy to find your purpose. I get that. I've been there too. But if you do find your purpose, it really just gives you free, endless energy. Like, of course, you still need to take care of the basics, but it's really powerful. And if you don't really have a purpose right now, the least you can do is have some goals. Bring them to mind and let them motivate you. Something else you can do right now, actually, is the bonus tip I'll tell you about now. Despite all the mental aspects of having more energy we just talked about, like I said, you still need to take care of the basics. And that, to a big extent, means that your body still needs the right things to produce energy. So you need all the nutrients. And that, of course, is part of a good diet too. But you can do that with supplementation or simply eat foods that have all the nutrients and especially those who are proven to give you energy. Namely here I'm talking about magnesium, vitamin D, iron, zinc and especially vitamin B as well. And guess what food has all that? Especially the vitamin B? Eggs. And that's actually just one out of 10 reasons why I think eggs are actually the best food that exists. I know it sounds a bit out of pocket, but I actually explain my objective reasoning in this video, so maybe you might want to see that next and then finally start eating more eggs. But if you're vegan or you just want three supplements to have more energy, watch this video and then see you over there. With that being said, stay excellent, have a great day and bye.